I showed you how to transform a Microsoft Word into a Sway, and now this is that same form, and I've just started to make some changes to it. So I made a choice to change this originally said element box research project, and now it says the actual oxygen part. I've started to break up all the text. So originally, if you see down here, all the text was just in one card, and I've started to break them up into different sections. How I do that, if I come down into this text card, um, first, uh, uses of oxygen. If I want to do, if I want to break up the next section, so use of oxygen ends here. I'm going to click heading, and now that's a card, and now all the rest of it is here. So why oxygen matters might be the text heading I want to use, and then I can go through and delete anything that doesn't belong to it. This will separate it out into different text headings, and let's get rid of that bullet. Okay, so down here looking at my pictures, they came through together, but I want to now put them, let's say I want to put them into, like I want this picture, I can drag it up to where I want it, and I want it to go here because it definitely fits in with element in focus, it's showing the element box. I can add a caption, okay, same thing, I can move these other pictures, but let's say here, where I talk about uses, I want to put a few pictures. When I click the plus sign, I can come over here to stack. There's other options. I can do a grid, comparison, slideshow. So maybe I want to choose slideshow. I can then drag up the pictures that I want to go in the slideshow. I want that one to go in. I want this one to also go in the slideshow. Let's see. Make sure it's within. See how it's in the darker gray now? Now this text box talks about some other things, so maybe I also want to pick an image, scuba tank, so I talk about that on the slide, so I can go search up, there we go, some different pictures, and then if we look at it, okay, now it's in a slideshow here, so one second, it's still loading, I'm going to refresh my sway so I'm going in let me make sure that's saved it did not let's go back to my slideshow if it doesn't save don't stress you can just add your pictures in again so image and I want a scuba tank it's probably trying to move or maybe I'll say scuba diver it's probably trying to move too quickly for it okay so we can pick this one here let's see I can pick oxygen in atmosphere oops, atmosphere okay maybe I want to add that one in there so I've got my slideshow I could choose to add pictures um, but if we come in here to design so if we look at that use of oxygen I now have these pictures next to it Let's say I want to make this look different. I can, within the design one, I can say edit. And maybe I want to emphasize the whole thing. And you'll see it's now bolded. And come up and do the same thing here. I can bold it. And come up. Let's say I want this to be, I want oxygen by itself to be bolded. You notice how it changes there. Let's say I want to go in and change. I don't like this background picture. Okay, I can maybe change my picture and I can just say air, looking for a cool picture that I want to use, maybe, yeah, we'll just use that one, okay, and we'll choose that one, see, and now it goes there, if I don't want to see how it says air, oh, I don't want it to say that, um, at, I can just say sky instead. Okay, and maybe I want that picture instead. Okay, and then we can delete out anything I don't want to use design-wise. Now I've got my element project. Now, this is not a fully complete one, but I wanted to show you the basics. Your students would be able to quite easily do this. If they're not happy with their style, they can go in and they can change. So I have a current style. It can change to horizontal. We can also customize with custom colors. Okay, we can change the font choice. We can change all that. 
I can also come in here and change to pre-made ones. So let's say I want to change there or I want to go to this one. You can also come in here and your students can just choose the remix option and it's just going to keep recycling. If they're like, oh, I actually did like the last one, they can go in and change it there. Okay, still don't really like that one, so let's remix it one more time. Okay, oh, this one's fine for now. Last thing your students would do then to share this with you, they'll come up to share. They're going to select between these different options. We're going to choose anyone with the link, and we want to make sure it's on view so that they can go ahead and see it without editing it. There are more options. You can require a password if you want. Uh, you can embed it into your own website. But that is how you can have your students use Microsoft Sway to make a project.